welcome to the Siloam Baptist Church online ministry. And we are excited that you are a part of our ministry today. We especially want to thank those who are members of our church and members of churches in our community who happen to listen to our service. We are blessed, we are honored that you take the time to share with us in the Word of God. For those of you who are first-time listeners, for those of you who have never heard our ministry before, we welcome you and hope and pray that something will be said or done today that will be an eternal blessing in your life. We believe that God is alive and well and working among us, and we hope and pray you will feel the same. Uh, let us begin with our text, with a word of prayer, and then we will move forward with our message. Father, we thank and praise you for this opportunity to gather together as a spiritual family and as the family of God. And we pray that your presence will be seen and felt and understood by those who are listening to this service this day. Have your way, God, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Son of the living God, be lifted up today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Our text this morning comes from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. Listen to God's word. As God's fellow workers, we urge you not to receive God's grace in vain. For he says, in the time of my favor, I heard you. And in the day of salvation, I helped you. I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. The title of our message today is, On Your Mark, Get Set, Go. On Your Mark, Get Set, Go. Father, in Jesus' name, we ask that you bless this preaching moment. And may, Father God, you touch hearts and lives and allow your word to come alive in those who will hear. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning, I want to share a word about the significance of the times we are living in. This morning, I want to challenge all of us to make the most of the time we have been given on this we call planet Earth. Whether we like it or not, our time on this planet and in these lives is limited. For some, life sadly will be short. For others, due to reasons above their understanding, their lives will be long. But the most important thing is how we use the time we are given to the glory of God. Martin Luther King lived for only 39 years. Most of the people under the sound of my voice have already lived 39 years or more. But in 39 years, the Reverend Dr. King had an impact on the world. Was it because he was wealthy? Was it because he was well-educated? Was it because he was just lucky? No. The Reverend Dr. King impacted the world because he opened himself up to do the work of God no matter what the personal cause. And because of his courage and faith and divine purpose, he was blessing to the entire world. This morning, I want to suggest to you that just as God had a plan and purpose 
for the Reverend Dr. King. He has a purpose and plan for your life and mine. Yes, you. We are not birthed into this universe just to hang around. We were not birthed into this universe just to do our own thing. We are here because of God's infinite, almighty, everlasting view of the future. And God has something special for all of us to do. And to do anything less, to fall short, is to be, a, a, to be short of God's goal for our lives. But on the other hand, when we listen to God's directions and we follow in his pathway, when we obey his word and act under the power of his Holy Spirit, great things happen. Isn't that what 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2 says? In the time of my favor, I heard you, and in the day of salvation, I helped you. Brothers and sisters, young and not so young, if you are looking for a blessing, do it God's way. If you want your life to do great things, get ready to do it God's way. If you see the way of the flesh, you will, if you follow the way of the flesh, you will see that it leads to death. But my Bible says the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now that sounds good, doesn't it? But it only happens when we surrender our lives and follow him. For when we, he leads us, we follow him, we can say amen. So be it. The reason why you have that great job is God. The reason why you have that wonderful spouse, amen, Walt, is God. The reason you live in a nice home is because God has been good to you. The reason for your blessings is not because you earned it. It's not because you have the right connections or want to went to the best universities. It is because God has blessed you. There are people out there who have all these things, but they don't have the Lord in their lives and they don't have God working for them. And they wonder what is wrong. They wonder why they can't do better in their lives. It's because God is not at the center of their being. Well, you see, it's God who makes the difference. It's God who blesses our lives. It's God who meets our needs. It's God who protects our children when we are not around. It's God. Somebody ought to praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Brothers and sisters, if this thing is going to be real in your life, you got to learn how to give God some praise. For behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Now God is doing a great work. You want to know why? Blessed people are blessed people. It's because they have the opportunity to be blessed even the more by God. And because he has lifted them up and lifted us up, we can see God move in new ways. Not our ways, but in new ways. And if God be for you, who in the world can be against you? Amen. Who in the world can hold you down and shut you out? If God be for you, 
Who can keep you off Blessing Boulevard? Have I got a witness here? Anybody know what it's like to go through hard times when everything seemed lost, but God made a way out of no way? Anybody know what I'm talking about? When you thought you were lost, you thought it was over, but God said, it ain't over until I say it's over. Because God is on your side. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, as I prepare to close, it's time for us to get ready for God to take us to higher heights and deeper depths. It's time for our Lord to send a fresh wind and a fresh fire that will reveal him and show us how God moves in our lives. Brothers and sisters, I've stopped by to tell you that it's time to get ready for fresh wind and fresh fire because God is not finished with this church. God is not finished with your life. God is not finished with this nation. God is not finished with his people. And if you believe this, say amen. amen. If you want this, say, fill my cup, Lord, until it overflows. If you are ready for God to move like this in your life, bow your head with me. Let's go to God in prayer. Most holy and everlasting God, our Heavenly Father, we come to you because you are our Heavenly Father. And because you not only supply our needs, but you also are there for us to give us blessings that far and away exceed even our dreams and expectations. Look upon us, O oh God, with love, with tender care. Give us a joy that can only come from you and give us, Father God, the knowledge to know that you are in charge and that you are in control. Silently now we wait for thee. Ready, my God, thy will be seen. Open our ears, our hearts, our minds, our souls, and our spirits, and illumine them. Spirit divine, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.